Hi everyone! Here's the progress we've made on our bathroom remodel in the last couple of, well, months. We've been at this for months now. Even before we met, Rallis and I had each always dreamed of a creepy New Orleans-themed bathroom, which is kind of oddly specific, I think. So this is what we started with in our weird old house. Just some decorations in the original bathroom. I did a very primitive mock-up of what we were planning, but it was enough to see how the colors and textures will work together. After removing the wallpaper and having the more important work professionally done, we went to town with the paint. First, a killless primer on the drywall. The painted stone you see is actually adobe. This half of the house is an adobe brick home. The walls are a foot thick and made out of mud. All the adobe walls have this terrible trim made of old wood paneling. I have hated this trim and dreamed of tearing it down for years, but we didn't know what was under it. So one day, curiosity got the better of me and I pried a piece off in the kitchen. There's a concrete header, which we already knew was there, and the trim was just there to cover up the gap between this board and the concrete header. So Rallis used a grinder to smooth out this lip where the scallop was and mixed up some UltraCal 30, which is a gypsum cement with an acrylic bonding agent and sand for texture to blend up from the concrete header and cover the wood. He painted two layers of acrylic bonding agent, the concrete header and the board, then applied the new cement. He left it slightly rough so it would blend in with the rest of the bathroom. I cleaned the already painted adobe wall with TSP and then gave it a fresh coat of Kills Primer. We wanted a faux stone look to the wall, so we bought three shades of gray paint, Distant Star, Millennium Silver, and Cracked Pepper, to be our highlight, base tone, and shadow. I painted the entire wall with the base tone. A completely desaturated gray stone wouldn't look natural, so we made four tinted grays and colored each adobe brick in a random pattern. But we might have been a little heavy-handed with the tints. Rainbow Wall was not part of the plan. Shit. After a small amount of panicking, we remixed the colors and muted them back down to grays and browns. Then I modeled each brick with the other colors so there was a blend of colors on each one. Here you can see there's also a highlight with the lightest shade of gray. That was dry brushed on. The last thing to do was use the darkest gray in a wash or rub out. This is a great painting technique in which the paint is watered down, painted on the entire surface, or in our case one brick, and then wiped away with a damp rag leaving the dark paint only in the recessed areas. So the grout and texture of the adobe really pops. I love the look of this wall now, but it's giving the bathroom a serious prison cell vibe, not the kind of creepy we were going for. This caused another bit of panicking and second guessing every decision, but we continued ahead with the plan. We wanted a spooky cemetery mural on these walls, so again, three shades of paint. Svelte, passion fruit, and deep merlot. I blended the paints together in separate containers to get two shades between each color, so we had a total of seven paints to work with. This is the lightest shade, Svelte, that went on first as the base color. I extended it a little bit onto the ceiling and blended it into the white. Also on the ceiling is the original light, heater, and vent combo. Which reminds me, this is a drop ceiling and it's covering wood beams like what's in the kitchen and bedroom. We were so excited when we found them under the ceiling, but the beams were so uneven and they would have been so much extra work for the shower tiles that we went ahead and quietly covered them back up. But the light vent heater got a thorough cleaning and a new light bulb cover to replace the old yellow one. We repainted the cover white because it had also turned that sad old yellow color that old plastic turns. I don't think it had been cleaned since the 80s, so it's running much better now. Back to the mural, Rallis is using a sponge technique with a stencil to paint the moon. The stencil is just contractor's paper from Home Depot covered in packing tape to make it water resistant. We did blend in a highlight behind the moon to make it pop. The texture came out really nice. We wanted some wisps of clouds over the moon, so Rallis is airbrushing them on.
Then I started layering in trees. The first layer of trees was the hardest because the wet paint was about the same color as the dry paint of the wall. A lot of these will be covered by bathroom stuff, like a mirror and other artwork. It wouldn't be a New Orleans cemetery without an angel on a mausoleum, so I compiled a few photos to get the best angel and wings. I printed the angel to scale and used it as a stencil, then painted the highlights and shadows. I like to think that she's casting a spell to keep the dead from rising out of their graves. The mausoleum was fun to paint. This was also printed to scale and used as a stencil. Then I taped off each brick and used a dry brush technique to stipple the highlights and shadows. A few more trees and then I go into the cemetery. I made these stencils out of contractor's paper. The numbers you see on them are the shade of paint I plan to use. The obelisk was my favorite, but I put it in the stupidest spot. The toilet is going to cover up most of it. Womp womp. The last of the tombstones going in and the final spooky trees complete with Spanish moss. It took about a month to paint, with most of the delays because I was afraid of ruining it and having to start over. So now we have to wait for it to cure completely before sealing it. It's supposed to cure for about a month, so we'll get to that pretty soon. In the meantime, there's a lot of work to do on the window and the door. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already so you can see what else we have planned for this tiny bathroom. Thanks for watching and see you next week!